More now on the breaking news. Uh, what appears to be a break in the Hans Reiser murder case. That's right. Police are searching a section of the Oakland Hills for the body of Nina Reiser. On the phone now is uh, Paul LaRosa, who is a producer for CBS News in 48 Hours. Paul, 48 Hours has been following this story for years. Tell us what precipitated this investigation. You mean, well, this afternoon, Hans led uh, cops and the DA the people to Nina's, Nina Reiser's body. Um, he's been trying to work out a plea, bar, a plea deal to get a lower sentence. I'm not sure that he has yet. I don't know what promises have been made, but I do know a lot more about what happened this afternoon. What, have they found the body? Go ahead, tell us. Yes, what... they found the body. It was, they, they went out this afternoon. The Hans uh, personally led the police and the DA to the body. Um, he was handcuffed to his lawyer, Bill Dubois, at the time uh, for security purposes. He was surrounded by um, security uh, guards armed with M-16s. I assume it was the police. Um, he led them, I'm told, to an area of Oakland Hills near Redwood Park, um, and they took the skyline entrance to the West Ridge Trail. Mm -hmm. um, they found Nina's body in a, um, a hole that was four by four by four. Um, they found her bones. They, um, she was buried apparently upside down in some way. Um, I'm told it was, quote, an extremely clever location on the side of a hill. It was an area where only deers would go into. Um, and it was only 500 meters from Hans's mother's home. Oh, dear. So it was close but well hidden. Paul, we know the police had searched extensively. So you're saying that this was such a remote location, even though it was that close to the house, they never went there before? That's right. I'm uh, told by people who were there that, uh, you know, that, they ne that the police never would have found the body if Hans had not led them to it. Because even when they got there, they all looked to, let's say they looked to the right, and Hans said, no, the body's over here to the left, and they had to climb a very steep hill to get to it. Um, you know, it was tough for uh, Bill Dubois, his lawyer, who was in a suit and tie at the time, to be handcuffed to him to climb up and down these hills. But um, he said it was arduous, but he did it. Um, and when they got there, um, he, he remembered where he had buried it mm -hmm. and led them right to it. Did, do you know, Paul, if Hans Reiser has said exactly how Nina Reiser was killed? I do not know that. Mm -hmm. I do not know that, but I, I'm almost positive he'll have to say that or admit that in court to get a reduced sentence. You know, right now he's sentenced uh, to 25 years to life, or he was going to be sentenced, by the way, on Wednesday. Wednesday. That has been postponed indefinitely. But, you know, it's a mandated sentence. It was going to be 25 years to life. Uh, he was going, he was trying to plead down to second-degree murder, which is 15 to life. And, um, you know, I think the DA uh, would probably look favorably on the fact that he has given up the body. Second-degree murder would would indicate that this was an accident of some type, that it wasn't premeditated, that it wasn't intentional. Yes, I mean, I, I just don't know the details on mm -hmm. that. But uh, there, was, um, there, was, uh, there was a lot of testimony in the trial that uh, this was not premeditated. Mm -hmm. You know, she dropped off the children at his home, and, um, you know, it, he somehow snapped at that moment. I mean, nobody plans a murder with their children in the basement. But that's apparently what happened. And you don't premeditate to do that way, I would say. I think that's more of, of um, you know, second degree. But I'm not the jury. They, they convicted him of first degree murder. But I know he's trying to get it down to second degree now. Well, and he had always contended that he never killed her. She was living in Russia. So I guess those who were skeptical, you know, here he comes forward now only after he's been convicted. Yep. Uh, well, that puts the lie to his story. Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen from here on in. I assume they, go, they did find Nina's bones. I assume they're going to do some DNA testing just to be sure that it is indeed her. He's going to have to admit exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. I'll probably get some psychological exams. I know his lawyer has already filed a, 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 plea, a motion with the court that he's mentally incompetent, Hans. Hmm. And um, we have a long way to go probably before sentencing at this point. Right. Yeah. All right. Paula Rosa with CBS News in 48 Hours. Thank you very much for the update. You're welcome. Um, what we found is that Nina Reiser's body has been found. Hans Reiser, her husband, who was convicted of murdering her, uh, led uh, officials to her body this afternoon. 500 feet. From his from mother's, his mother's house. house. Yeah. And that's a live picture of the area where they've been searching. We'll be right back.